I went to a bookbinder's place to bind books for my fashion students to be using as notebooks and he started kettle stitching them. So let me show you how he went about the kettle stitching. I had to make some videos so that I could also learn how to do it by myself. So um, somehow I started after he had done the first part. So he stitched the first part together. So he started working from up down so after he had stitched the first part together he brought out the needle passed it through so after passing it through he passed it the other side then now held it together like he passed it through the other ones that were up twisted again and then most times he did it twice he kind of locked it twice so that it would be stronger So he had to move back inside, come outside, go over to the other side. Just go ahead and watch what he did. So hook in just to secure the stitch. So he placed another one opened it up so that he could get the needle very neatly and be able to assess it better so he passed his needle through brought it out from here passed again then after bringing it out he hooked back to link it back to the ones that he had already done that were up So still with the same needle, he's going back, back inside, almost at the same spot, almost at the same spot. So this one actually ensures that your stitches are stronger and better, going back and forth and all of that. I did this because I don't want them to hold me to ransom when I actually want to bind the book just in case i want to do it by myself it's diy season people so if you're new to my channel please subscribe to my channel i'm the writer of the books pattern making for the shapely african woman and advanced pattern mastery for the african woman if you find this video helpful please click on the like button and share so that others can learn too So he's not using like the regular thread he's using that thread that um, shoemaker is using making shoes like a twine kind of thread but the needle he's using is the regular needle a very big one so that he can be able to pierce through the holes so you can see the thread as he's unwinding it it got very short at some point so he had to tie it up he had to add something to the old one